Okay, I just want to show you um, the finished necklace it, uh, with a more enhanced view. This is what it looks like all finished. Um, you can see the end clasp right here. You can see the two beads, uh, the two bead caps, the two beads right here. You can see the toggle clasp that I made. Um, here's the loop and here's the toggle clasp. As you can see, um, it's folded. Then we made this little loop right here, so to give it like, you know, like a, some sort of interesting end, so it wouldn't look just folded over. You can open it to see how that was done. Okay, let's close it back. And it hooks perfectly well with the loop. Okay, there you go. Here you can see how we wired back to the um, bead cap and we finished it before the key we tucked in our ends. Here's the bead cap, here's the bead. Now what I want you to see is the part where I put in the spiral. Here's one spiral right here. Here's another one right here. And they blend. Here's another one right there. And they blend in pretty well. Um, like I said, they won't be attracting extra attention because they're just filling in gaps and holes, you know. Um, but I think the necklace turned out pretty interesting, nice, and I just wanted you to see it up close. Here's one of the wired parts. This is the part that I added um, the wire crocheted extra, um, the extra wire crochet chain. You can't tell the difference between that one and this one which is at the beginning the importance is to have them both more or less the same width so that your necklace won't look that different so um there there's your necklace with your crystals your pearls i think it turned out beautiful and next tutorial i will be showing you different types of embellishments for this necklace thank you and enjoy